Hi everyone. This gameplay video will show you the early game. For new players, it's recommended to start with the tutorials. Let's start a new game. I leave the default difficulty. Here, you can set your banner. You will find three provinces to choose from. Each has its own characteristics, with a different climate, fauna, and ingredients. At character generation, you can choose from five classes where the warrior, archer, and sorcerer can participate in combat. Each character class comes with a bonus. This short introduction covers the basics. I just close it for now. Here, you can see the capacity info. I have too much living area, but not enough place for monsters. If I click on the old keep, I can change the usage of every room. I'll fix the collapsed large chamber. This is where messages appear at the start of each turn. The guild entry quest is the most important. In order to gain entry into the Monster Breeders Guild, you must raise a hybrid. Let's visit the local hunters. He is a weapon and armor merchant. Local hunters sell eggs, juvenile creatures, bows, shield, and leather armor. The alchemist sells ingredients and potions. There's a male juvenile panther for sale. Panthers have valuable abilities like sprint and claw attack. Hyena has poison bite and protector ability. Let's buy some reptile meat. It will provide an attack bonus against reptiles. Go to the hatchlings tab. You can see the basic stats up here. Plant diet. It's cheaper to maintain herbivores. I increase the amount of food. This provides a bit of strength and health point bonus. Related species can produce viable offspring, but these are not considered true hybrids. Sprint is a valuable ability to evade and attack of opportunity. This tutorial fight is worth playing because you can get some hatchling eggs. Of course, it doesn't hurt to buy some armor and potions first. Most weapons come with a bonus. Slayer Blade does 50% more damage on monsters. I'll buy some armor. Let's find some potions too. In this window, you can equip your characters and set training. An overloaded character loses agility and action points.
Let's look at the training sliders below. With the sliders, I can adjust which trait to improve. The green number in the brackets indicates how much the character will improve in a year. Okay, let's do the tutorial fight. I have only one character to select. You must have enough action points and energy to move or attack. Hold down shift and right click to rotate the character. An unseen attack is always successful, so always face the directions from which the attack is expected. Click on the help button to see the combat tutorial video. No more action points left. Next turn. Attacks result in three ways, dodge, parry, or hit. If hit, the defender can counter-attack. The collapse chamber is fixed. I can use it now. There's not enough place for all the eggs. I need one more room. All Hunterberg eggs hatched. I decreased the food to save on upkeep costs. I build a hatchling's cabin. It has room for 10 eggs, and I'll be able to use rune stones and magic scrolls. The hyena has grown up. I've received a report showing the traits have increased. This fight would be too difficult. Hunters have new stock to sell. Let's check it out. I'll slaughter these bugs to get insectoid meat. Now, let's crossbreed the panther and hyena. I just drag and drop the selected creatures and add the crossbreed potion. Only creatures of the same class can be crossbred in the early access game. The offspring may inherit poison bite. I expect three puppies to be born. These are heritable traits.
Okay, let's see the catacomb. It's a prison and execution site. You can choose from three different fights. I select the easiest one. My creatures will execute these two criminals. There is no attack of opportunity when using the sprint ability. Human's field of vision is only three, so they can be flanked easily. This was an easy practice fight. We've earned some money. Good news! There will be new creatures after two turns. The hatchling's cabin is completed. I can get eggs from the Northern Lizard's den. I think I'll need more healing potions. There are too many lizards in this cave. I think it's better we skip this fight. The caravan has arrived. This is the only opportunity all year to purchase slaves and premium goods. I can only buy some cheap armor. Let's see the slaves. Archibald looks like a decent sorcerer. He needs a magic staff. Let's equip the sorcerer with his new magic staff, and add more armor to the warrior.
I have three baby creatures. Let's see them. This one has inherited the sprint ability from the panther. All I can do is increase the food amount and add some reptile and insectoid meat. Click on the next turn. The local alchemist and hunter have new stocks, but I'm penniless. Hyena's Lair. I think it's better to skip this fight, and skip the next couple of turns too. Okay, finally. The three monster hybrids have grown up. The entry quest is complete, so I'll be able to fight in the arena from now on. Let's see the new creatures. All inherited the poison bite, but none inherited the claw attack. Go to the arena. I can participate in this fight. The winner will get an enchanted claymore. This is non-lethal combat, potions are not allowed, and all human combatants wear the same standard equipment. I select my team and start. Every arena provides some bonus that will affect the fight. Let's see the enemy team. They have an overburdened level 1 warrior, and another one. The panther hybrid has fire skin and protector ability. Both monsters have fire bite ability. Now, let's move forward. Hit chance is too low. Miss. I can't flank the reptile monster because it has high field of vision. It's run out of energy, but I've no more action points left for another attack.
The reptile has enough energy to counterattack. The sorcerer will kill it. Sprint costs fewer action points and more energy. Human characters can be flanked easily. Enemy's turn. My monster can attack from the flank. The sorcerer has leveled up. He'll be able to learn new spells. My monster receives 6 damages from the enemy's fire skin and fall. Luckily, this is a non-lethal fight. I can flank attack this warrior too. My warrior is exhausted. He cannot defend himself if he uses up all his energy. Good! We've won the battle! I've earned some good money for this victory, and received the enchanted weapon. The sorcerer has a skill point to spend. I select the healing spell. Now, he has this new ability. So, this was the early game. It took 12 turns to complete the entry quest. As a guild member, I can participate in arena fights every turn. Feel free to try this game. The demo is available on Steam. Thanks for watching the video.